Hello everyone, I'm Satvik. In this video, I'll showcase the methods to effectively enumerate virtual hosts using two powerful tools GoBuster and FFUF, also known as FUF. So this, this guide is going to help you to enhance your skill in identifying and enumerating the virtual hosts effectively. So let's get started. So the main reason why you need to find virtual hosts is like to uncover the hidden services. So a server which is associated with one particular IP might run different websites. For example, my particular machine uh, might host sci.com and it might also host admin.sci.com or mail.sci.com. So there are a lot of options. I mean, the reason why they do it is like to offer various services on the, from the same machine or the same IP. So identifying the different type of virtual hosts will help you to increase your attack surface like maybe the main host www.sci.com is not vulnerable and maybe admin.sci.com is vulnerable or uh, maybe prod.sci.com or maybe dev.sci.com so you don't know what might uh, what might be there. So identifying all these things is going to be a very useful thing and I'm going to showcase this on the box machine which is called as horizontal which deals around this virtual host enumeration. So the first and the foremost thing, I'm not going to type all the commands and all. So first of all, add your uh, IP address and the domain name to your hosts file. So this is how you do it. So IP address followed by tab and then the domain name associated with that. So you'll identify this domain name once you do an nmap scan or else when once you quickly go to this particular IP from your browser, it directly redirects to this particular domain. So that's how you can identify it. And you can do it through two ways. One, one is using FUF and one is using GoBuster. I do have better results while using FFUF for FUF because I don't know, maybe it's more efficient or not. But yeah, this is how it goes. So FFUF is by default installed on your machine or else you can do sudo apt get install ffuf that's how it goes and this is the command so and and i do also recommend you to install seclists so even that is simple sudo apt install seclists once you're done with that so i'm using this particular word list called as subdomains top 1 million and there are so many word lists within this dns directory you can go with one every one of them i mean whichever works for you and then I provided the URL, which is going to be this horizontal.htb. And do remember that you need to add this particular domain to your hosts file. And then this is my hyphen h. So this is how the uh, FFUF is going to work. So I'm going to fuzz this particular subdomains. So host colon fuzz and dot horizontal dot htb. And MC is like methods is for all response methods and all. And the quotes. I'm trying to neglect these quotes, response quotes like 300, 301, 302 and all. So I'm not interested in going and checking them out. And I'm just saying, saving them to the FFUF like results.txt for the further analysis. So just let me hit enter. So you can see a method is going to be get method, URL, word list, header. So this is the header, header in the sense where uh, and the header itself I mentioned where to fuzz. And uh, you can see file format and all these are fine. You can increase your threads and all 40 threads is more. It's fine. I mean, if you add more threads, there's a good chance of losing the content. So it might miss some stuff and I'm, I'm going with all response statuses and I'm just filtering this thing. I mean, this is dumb actually, but yeah, I'm trying to filter these particular responses. I mean, the reason why I'm doing this is like, uh, I saw like a lot of false positives with 301s and 40s, 400 series because you know those particular hosts doesn't exist but they just show up in your result or the scan. I mean it's going to be a lot of output so I just filtered them out. So now you can see api-prot uh, a subdomain here or a virtual host here which is going to be quite useful and let the scan run for a while. GoBuster is other tool which you can do the virtual host enumeration and uh, I mostly use Fuff but GoBuster is also other tool to be considered and it also works fine most of the times and this syntax is quite useful so uh, quite simple as well so D DNS is the option that you are going to do you need to provide the domain name you need to pro provide the word list and that's all the reason why I mostly use Puff is it has a filter option for like the response statuses 
i mean i tried uh, the same i mean i researched a lot on how to filter the responses and all but uh, gobuster dns option doesn't have that i guess i mean how i do it is like i just pipe this output and i just grep for the source uh, grep for the response codes so that's a option you have but yeah gobuster also works fine and the syntax is very quite simple as well as uh, like as simple as like puff and just hit enter so it does take some time because I gave a lot of less threads, but yeah, I'm going to hit Control C here. So these are the two uh, ways you can actually identify the virtual hosts in while doing some hack the box machines or try hack me machines. I'm f I focused mostly on hack the box and try hack me because these require some kind of an effort. Like you need to add the file to your hosts. Uh, you need to add the IP and the domain name to the hosts file, and you need to do some basic stuff and all. But if you are doing it for like a real host out there like google.com and stuff you don't need to do this hosts kind of thing you don't need to add anything to the hosts file and now once you identified your particular uh, subdomain or the virtual host just copy this and just add it again so now you need to add it dot http so that's how you do it so control s and control x so that's how you basically try to do that so uh, hdb i mean it will go to somewhere you need to add http tag or else it just goes to that So this, this is how you do it. So exploitation of this is a further process. And yeah, so this is how you basically identify the virtual hosts. And uh, I've been solving boxes recently like Permax and all, Permax, Blazeroid and things, things like that. And they do require uh, virtual host enumeration. So this, I hope this video is going to be helpful for you. And thank you for watching this video till the end. This is Satvik signing off. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye.